This is the Ship and Shovel in WC2. This is London's only pub which is split into two. This is what we call a pub of two halves. It's only been this way since the 90s, but they've been here for a few hundred years. E.g., they joined up in the 90s, but before they were two separate pubs. Now, they were called the Ship and the Shovel, but because of the spelling of this particular pub, there's more interest to the word shovel than meets the eye because there were coal diggers that used to work in this vicinity, which would explain why you'd have ship and shovel, the coal hole around the corner. But Cloudsley Shovel, which is what this pub is associated with, there's a portrait of him inside. It's quite glorious. That, that pub is glorious, but this pub is truly glorious. It's, it's, it's more old fashioned in its way. But in there is a portrait of Cloudsley Shovel, who was an admiral who earned his way to the top from a young man in the Navy. And during the reign of Charles II, Charles II had made his brother, who had become James II, the leader of the Admiralty. And he sent Clouds the Shovel out to face the Barbary pirates. Now, eventually, after a disaster, Cloudsley would end up buried at Westminster. His body would be exhumed from a disaster at the Scilly Islands off of Cornwall. It's a little island just out of the vicinity of Cornwall where a huge disaster took place, the Scilly Naval Disaster, where 2,000 men lost their lives and he was one of them. The disaster was one of Britain's biggest when it comes to our Navy. Multiple ships, up to four large ships at least, with many men smashed upon the rocks, which was blamed upon poor navigation, but we don't really know. Stories as to how Cloudsley really died, we also don't know. People say that he might have drowned and others believed he might have been killed by a, a woman who stole his ring and on her deathbed gave the account to, to her priest and said, look, this is the ring I stole, but historians sort of disbelieve that. Whatever the case, he did wind up back in Westminster as he was an admired hero to the Navy. And these pubs now still echo on his memory and they're absolutely stunning.